Hello guys, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blaze and Glazed. So today's video is fun, it is fresh, it is funky as hell, and it is also involving a fire us box of thrifted finds. And no, not from Thread Up, just packaged in a Thread Up box. So if you are new to my channel, I make fashion and thrifting and kind of just style videos that are all really rooted in just like being yourself, expressing yourself, being the strong ass, beautiful ass queen that you are inside. So make sure to hit subscribe down below because I make videos, multiple videos every damn week. Now let's move on into just the pure awesomeness, awesome sawesomeness that this video is I, much like most of us here, have been truly just missing the thrift stores so damn much. And again, like most of us, I find just like so much joy and inspiration just going through the thrift store and putting together looks. Even if I don't buy anything, just playing around with new pieces in general makes my heart damn happy. It helps my mental health on a high ass level. So since going into the physical thrift store is not an option right now, I hit up my queen Alexa, Miss Alexa Sunshine 83, and I kind of suggested that we do a thrift swap. I'd seen that she did a couple videos on her channel unboxing like thrift store mystery boxes. And after watching her kind of reviews of those boxes, I couldn't help but wonder, what if two thrift queens who really get each other's style and also have like an influx of secondhand clothes in their closets, in their wardrobes, in their arsenals, teamed up together to curate two fabulous boxes and send them across Southern California to each other to then unbox on their YouTube channels and spread some outfit inspiration and joy. We both decided that sounded like a good ass time. So here we are. I have the package that Alexa sent me. And before we get into that, I wanted to say that we decided to send each other about 10 items each. We didn't really put like specifics on what needed to be in the boxes, you know, because like pants can be really hard to fit on someone else. I know that queen has a lot of jeans already. So we kind of just told each other to go for it and put in whatever we thought the other one would like, whatever they would get down with, whatever they would groove with. And so today I'm going to be unboxing everything and styling everything and trying on everything that Alexa sent me in my personal curated thrift box. But first, before we get to that, I'm going to take you guys back about a week ago and kind of take you through my process of curating what I have now dubbed the Alexa Sunshine 83 Quarantine Collection 2020. Let's go. Okay, so for Alexa's box, I really want to pick like a couple of items that like scream her style and like when I look at them, it's like Sunshine 83 in the house. And then I want to pick a couple items that I think are going to like push her out of her comfort zone a little bit or maybe a little bit more funky and crazy than she might normally pick out. Although like Queen, I have seen your style evolution. It has been coming. It has been happening. It is having a moment. And I just hope that I can like curate a box that is going to like continue your momentum into said moment. So see what we can find. The absolute first item that I knew was going to go to her is this Harley top. I picked this up maybe like a month or two ago in a video and I just felt like for summer, this will be so, so cute. Kind of like the red, white, and blue vibe. And I do remember when we filmed our episode of LA Thrift Queens together, which is a series that I do where I feature different thrift queens all around kind of LA, the Southern California area and interview them and go through their closets and go thrifting with them. Alexa was, I believe my guest back in December. So I will link her video down below. But in that video, we talked a lot about like her love for Harley Davidson in and I remember her saying she is after more like feminine Harley pieces so I feel like this one fits the bill 100% so I mean I knew this was going in the box from the start I feel like this color could look pretty fabulous on her like with her skin tone and her blonde hair mm -hmm. This is also very much so screaming Alexa to me. I wanted to find her like a crazy shimmy shake top, but this honestly just looks like one that she would totally wear. And this is one of my favorite ones ever. Oh, I wore this when I filmed my first LA 15 episode ever, so yes. Okay, so for those of you guys that are new to my channel, I just moved into a new apartment literally right when this whole situation went down, hence the Dr. Evil-esque setup that I am working with here today. So I have the box Ugh, right here. I am so excited to dive into it with you guys. There was a card on top that I haven't read yet. Where did it go? I found her, I found the card. So it says, read first, smiley face. 
smiley face. So I don't know if I said in the intro, but of course Alexa is gonna be unboxing my box that I sent her over on her channel, so I will have her video linked down below. Make sure to go check it out after this so you can see everything that I ended up sending her and how she's styling them. So read it first. Let's get into this little card right here. It says, I promise this isn't a thread up mystery box. I just didn't have a big enough box. Like, I trust you, queen, I trust you. All of these items were originally purchased because I was inspired by your style. I absolutely loved every piece and I'm happy they are going to a good home. Spoiler, there are some jeans in there. Oh, yes, she knew I was after jeans. Okay, so let's dive right in. I am going to just go right off the top and I'm gonna be talking you guys through how I would style these pieces and then like playing try on clips as we go. So first up, <laughs> I see an accessory, I see a bucket hat. It's a really cute distressed Urban Outfitters bucket hat, which I can see why she would think I would like this because I do like this. I see it, I like it, I put it on my head, I look like a penis, obviously. <laughs> Obviously, this isn't the vibe, this isn't the look, this isn't the way. I have my little clip in right now, so it's not quite working out, but when I wear bucket hats, I promise you guys, I look like a penis, although I do love the vibes this hat is bringing. Very Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake, VMA's moment. So even though this isn't something I feel like I can necessarily pull off, it does inspire me to play around and maybe give the bucket hats another go. Love the fraying. Next up, and I am seeing so much green on top, and you guys that have been watching my channel for the past couple of months know I've been a hoe for green lately. I can't get enough of the color green, and I see something that looks very green and very 80s and has shoulder pads, so you guys know I'm gonna be obsessed. Oh my gosh, it is this gorgeous, like geometric green, super, super 80s. I see this brand all the time at the thrift store, the Casper for ASL. This is perfect, this is amazing. This is also such a great blazer for summer because it's short sleeved. What I love to do with blazers to make them casual and to like make them work for just like running around in LA is wearing them with biker shorts and a big chunky sneaker, no top underneath because this blazer is the star of the show. This is the top itself. And I definitely believe that she thought of me when she picked this up at the thrift store because this screams me and you know, Romy and Michelle called, they asked for the businesswoman special and I'm serving it up to them right and tight and toasty. So this is a huge win. I don't even know what else is in here, but this is, this is a good sign. I love that. Oh, I see the jeans. I see the jeans. I see the jeans and they look high waisted. Thank God. Thank God she did not send your girl a low waisted pair of jeans. I trust her to not do me like that. These are American Apparel jeans. This is a high-waisted, very like classic pair of jeans, which I love because I have such trouble thrifting jeans that fit my waist and also fit my bootay. I find that I can only find like vintage jeans at vintage stores that have kind of been fitted and tailored to fit a waist about my size and like a booty also about my size. Um, but this looks like they're gonna fit. This looks like they're gonna fit. I can't find the size, but if they're like a two, I think I used to wear an American Apparel, it says they're a two. And they look a bit long, so I'll probably rock these with like a kitten heel and a cropped sweater in the summer for like a cooler night or like a casual day lunch. These are great. These are gonna be a great staple pair of jeans. So thank you, queen. Oh, I see so much more green. So, so much more green. Okay, let's go into these green pants. Oh, she blessed me with pants. She blessed me with pants and she blessed me with green. So this is like a kind of like pajama-y material, super green, silky pant. Right away, I thought of doing like a monochromatic green look with one of my like textured green shimmy shake tops. Wearing an outfit like this is basically like wearing sweats. It literally feels like pajamas, H to T. But you look a little bit more classy. You look a little bit more put together. Like you put some effort into your vibe. These with basically any shimmy shake top in my wardrobe, especially one that at least has accents of green is a damn move, a damn, damn move. As we're actually in my last Goodwill bins video, which I will link down below, you guys that saw that know that I found a really similar pair of pants to these in the bins, but they were completely like sewn and tailored. There was no give room in those and they are a tad bit tight for me. So these having an elastic spastic band, absolutely yes, okay. Um, I see a purse, I see a little bag, I see a little evening bag, which honestly, when I look at this right away, it's not quite my style. It's very like Victorian vibes, but it's also like nothing I have. The tag looks vintage, which we love, but I, I like this. I like that she challenged me with some pieces that are outside, not my comfort zone exactly, but like kind of, like it's just definitely very different than my style. I have two ways I think of wearing this. One, just literally being with like a sweatshirt like this. I love putting like something very glam with something very casual and slouchy just for like an effortless ass vibe. But also when I first saw this, it reminded me of Courtney Love right away, like Courtney Love in the 90s grunge rock to the max. This with maybe just like a slip dress and a leather jacket, kind of edge it up a little bit. I feel like it'd be cute for a night out. So yes, okay. 
Next, 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 next. <laughs> okay, next, a big, big thing, a big, oh my God, there's tassels. Oh my God, there's tassels. Okay, gotta put the box down to show you guys this. This is the big one. Black kind of like denim material jacket with a ton of fringe all over it, which I have zero fringe jackets. So this is very, very cool. This is definitely not something I would have picked up for myself, but I'm like totally feeling it right away. I'm not sure what pants or bottoms I'm going to be pairing with this, but I do know that I'm gonna be wearing it as a top like not with the top under it but just maybe like buttoned in the middle and as like a very loose fitting baggy top probably with some like high-waisted shorts maybe oh, I don't know I gotta think of a really innovative way to style this it's also giving me like very jokes out of vibes so maybe we just like throw it on with the leopard print catsuit we twirl around we have a high kick and we have a day and there we go this is awesome this is vibes I love it okay moving on Ooh, I see a T. I see a T that I love. I see a T that says girls run things, which absolutely yes. Alexa knows how I feel about ladies or anyone who identifies as such. We stand, we support, we love. And right away my first thought is to style this with a pair of sweatpants for just like lounging around during this social distancing time. I just want to theme this entire look, Bad Bitches, supporting Bad Bitches. Um, and I'm going to pair this with a pair of sweatpants that I got from a Depop seller who I will have linked down below. But she made these like red and blue paneled sweatpants. And I love to play off the red and the sweatpants with the red that's in the T and I just feel like, you know, tie it up a little, make it a little cropped action, and we are good to go. Whew, okay, so we are nearing the last couple of items. I see something truly amazing that is coming next. Wow, okay, so you guys that watch Alexa's videos obviously might have seen her haul this a while back. I definitely remember her hauling this. I have been on the look for a suit set for so long, but I can never find my size in one at the thrift store. They're either too big or too small. I know Alexa and I are very similar in size, so I know this is gonna fit me. These pants look like they're gonna fit me. It is the iconic green suit. The iconic green suit. When I saw this in whatever video she put it in, I was so damn jealous and I cannot believe that she chose to give me this. Oh my God. And obviously this suit doesn't need much styling. I would just do like a white chunky sneaker and then either no top underneath for just kind of more of a like sexy, sexy vibe or like a white crop t-shirt underneath if you want to like have the jacket open. This with, oh my God, my vintage Moschino bag from Squaresville Vintage, abso-freaking-lutely. It also gives me like very 70s man sexy vibes and I feel like with these sunnies, what do we think? With these sunnies, I also just like want to keep wearing these sunnies. I got these in the mail yesterday and I'm obsessed, you guys. I, I figured I was, you know, due for a new pair. <laughs> anyway, this suit is incredible. It is amazing. Alexa, I effing love you. This is going to be what I wear straight out of quarantine. -y. This This will be my first look I pull. This will be my first look I pull. Okay, down to the last three items in the box. Let's go for this tank top. So this is like a very, kind of like a 90s cutesy cutesy Mary Kate Nashley vibes. So like late 90s, early 2000s. This gives me very Mary Kate Nashley vibes. It is so cute, it is so basic, but like not in a bad way. Like in a way where like you need some damn basic sometimes and why not have cute ass little flowers on them? Something like this I wouldn't style too crazy since it's kind of just like a soft little top. I'd probably just throw it on this summer with like some high-waisted denim and call it a day. So. Fabulous little basic. This is a tank top that I really, really love the structure of and I love the material of, and she knows that I love slip dresses, so I'm assuming that's why she threw this guy in. It's kind of like a little swoop neck, cow neck situation. It's more of like a lingerie vibe type top. I'm not sure exactly how I would style this right now, maybe with like a latex pant, but honestly, I would probably just wear this to lounge around the house and like be a little more cute feeling in. Like if I don't want to wear an oversized t-shirt and I want to kind of be a little bit more romantical looking. I feel like I could just wear this walking around the house in like my high-waisted underwear with like a shimmy shake top over top and just, yeah. I do appreciate the kind of, again, like early 2000s supermodel off-duty shape of this neckline. So yes, yes. Okay. This sweater, I don't like buy a lot of sweaters in general at all, but I do totally love the color blocking of it. And whenever I see more like kind of preppy vibes sweaters like this, since my style is kind of like near the opposite of that, I always wanna grunge them up. So the second I saw this sweater, I was like, okay, I wanna do a moto jacket over top, grunge it up, make it cute, make it comfortable. This feels very comfortable with just like a comfortable pair of shorts and some sneakers and like a cute little pop of color bag. I feel like that'd be a great running around town outfit. I do love the colors that are in this, the blue and the green and the yellow and the pink and the orange and the red. Absolutely love that. This is just a very, very comfortable piece to throw on. 
any time of day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was such a fun concept and I hope that it inspired maybe a couple of you guys to go through your closets and maybe like have some thrift swaps with your friends. Let me know kind of like what other videos you guys are wanting to see from me during this time. Don't forget to go check out Alexa's video to see everything that I sent over to her. I'm so excited for her to open it. I'm so excited to see how she styles everything and if she likes everything. Make sure to hit subscribe down below if you are not already. Follow me on Instagram at Macy Lenny for the daily morning dance parties. Get down, we have a damn good time. It's a whole ass vibe. I love you guys so much. Do not forget for one damn second that you are a beautiful ass queen just the way you are, doing your damn thing just the way you do. I mean, you are so damn fantastic and that's the tea on that. So I will see you guys back here on Friday. Peace. Peace, love and shimmies. Ooh, 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 ooh. Peace, love and shimmies.